Hello, this is your boy Bill Eshkababa, and I've just come from watching Batman v vs Superman: Dawn of Justice. And these are just my quick thoughts. This is not a review, um, but these are just my general impressions, my thoughts on the movie. So um, I love Batman. I'm a Batman fan. I'm not that into Superman. I think that the character is cheesy. I think he's just not a good character next to Batman. Batman, Batman's got the better villains. Batman's the better character. Batman has the better city, Gotham. Um, I'm more of a Batman fan. So coming f to this movie, I was like excited to see both of them. And this movie has left me kind of like normal. I'm not excited. I'm not sad. I'm like, that was a thing. So next to Star Wars, when I left Star Wars Episode 7, I was like, yes, that, that was amazing. When I left this movie, I was like, yes, that was a movie. So what do I mean by that? The Batman, Ben Affleck nails Batman. Love Ben Affleck. Love him as Batman. That's nailed. So anyone that's scared that Ben Affleck was Batman, just watch it. You're going to love him as Batman. Okay? A person that I thought was going to suck was Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. She does a perfect job as Wonder Woman. She's okay. Um, there's no problem there. Where it kind of falls apart is Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. He's okay as Lex Luthor. But his motives are a bit, he's kind of like, like when I think of Lex, I think of him as like a super smart with like a smart plan. He knows what he's doing. He wants to, he, he, he knows what he's doing. He's a, he's a genius. In this movie, he kind of comes off more like the Joker, kind of a bit like just a crazy guy trying to like, you know, just do stuff for the sake of doing it. Uh, the movie's being completely spoiled by, um, I'm not gonna give spoils here, spoilers here, but the movie's been completely spoiled by the ad campaign. I mean, we've all, we know who the, who the final boss is. We've seen him there. We've seen the CGI. The Superman, like, yeah, he's, he's, Superman's there. It's just, the balance is not quite right. Like, this, this is, I, I get that Marvel's happy and DC is grip. It's fighting. It's dark. It's dirty, but maybe it's a bit, too much because Superman's lost his like Superman the Clark Kent has lost his he was like awkward he was like you know he had the glasses he was awkward now he's kind of like he's like a crappier shittier version of Bruce Wayne he's he's also like I'm you know brooding and I'm angry and I'm not doing that and it comes off like no you're not you're just like a punk ass alien that can burn things with your eyes, you know, like, Batman pulls it off, Bruce Wayne's a playboy billionaire, you know, he pulls it off, Clark Kent has lost what made Clark Kent him, understand, what made Superman, you know, the, the shy, the quirky, the bumbling, that, he's lost that, and it's basically just two stiff people, you know, eyeing each other down, now, for Batman that works, but for Superman it just feels out of place, so, I think that this movie would have been better if it was just a Batman movie, you know? If it was just a Batman movie, I mean, we get to see Batman's origin story again, so clearly there, it's like, I know this is like a continuation of Man of Steel or whatever, a spiritual success or whatever, but we get to see Batman's origin again, so clearly uh, the director wanted to focus more on Batman, even though the movie split 50-50, they've both got plenty of time together, but the movie just comes off like, yeah, that's something, the cameos are like, you know, they throw away, they're just setting seeds up for the extra, you know, the, the Aquaman movie or whatever else they're doing, it's just, this movie will sell, a lot of people will watch this movie, it'll be a blockbuster hit, uh, I encourage fans to watch it, because they're going to get enjoyment out of it. But DC is still not at the level of Marvel. And that that's kind of disappointing. But DC is still not at the level of Marvel. Marvel is still crushing it. And this next to something like the Avengers really shows the gap 
between the Marvel movies and the DC movies. There's a massive gap there. And I like both of them. I'm a huge Batman um, fanboy. I'm a huge um, Shazam um, fanboy. I love Shazam. I'm, I, I want a Shazam movie. Like, Shazam is probably my favorite superhero. And he's from DC. Um, so, him and then probably Spider-Man a close second. Um, no, wait. Batman a close second. Batman, Spider-Man, Sh- Shazam's definitely first, and then it's probably like maybe Batman, Spider-Man together, close. But um, yeah, the movie's all right. But that's about it. I can say the movie's all right. So if you've watched it, put down in the comments what you think about the movie, and please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bilish Gavava, out.